but what are the things that already exist that work? Yes, yes, you do. And if yeah, we could bring them together and then put them to scale. Yeah, so you can specialize, you can actually perfect that model, and then the whole community benefit. This is the idea. I think it, it, it works better that way. And, uh, Western Equatoria is a, they say it's a food basket of this country. Make it the real food basket of the country. Today we've been talking to pineapple farmers and learning about a value chain program. This is a project that's been running for four years and it's working with 40 farmers. And for those 40 farmers, it's been very significant, the change. But what we're starting to sort of wonder about, I suppose, is how can we take this to scale? How can this become something that, that actually transforms the whole community? The pineapple farms represent, as we understood, a value chain. A value chain is something that has been assessed and that value chain seems to have an immense potential. And for me, that value chain is one that needs a push, an enabling environment, some support for it to move forward. As we understood it, we realized that the market is far from being saturated. So what is actually needed is to expand the supply side. A hunger-free world is created by having sufficient food today, but also having sufficient flow of income to be able to take care of oneself for tomorrow or establish other livelihood activities. And the pineapple farms, for me, represented something that is far-reaching and that could actually be a trademark for this region.